Hey guys, come on downstairs. We're doing a little Real Salt Lake franchise action here. Matches 20 and 21 of year number two, as well as the U.S. Open Cup quarterfinal. But let's take a look at some transfer window news first. We are acquiring left back Jefferson Murillo from uh, Veracruz, Tiburones in the Mexican League. He is a Colombian national, 25 years old, 5'7", 145 pounds. And physically, uh, he is very impressive. 80 acceleration, 82 agility, 78 balance, 90 jumping, 81 sprint speed, and 76 stamina. So uh, very good physically, very fast, uh, lots of pace, and that's uh, something we need on our back line. Uh, where he lacks a little bit is his technical abilities. As you can see, finishing 27, uh, dribbling 58, all of these in the red and orange. So uh, physically, he is going to be just fine. We will see what his lack of technical abilities, how it will affect his play. But we like his physical attributes. It gives us uh, some of the pace and stuff we need on that back line. Uh, we are in July of year number two. We're coming off a draw, a win, and a loss. And we are facing Colorado Rapids, who are first in the Western Conference. We are ninth. So it will be a tall task to come away with a win here on the road in Colorado. As you see, our starting 11, Torres, Barrett, Ruznak, Plata, Allen, Carvalho. Uh, the debut of Jefferson Murillo, Schuler and Mond in the middle, Sonny at the right back position and Carlgren is our goalkeeper here today in match number 20 we have 14 left and it is the debut of Jefferson Murillo 25 year old that we purchased the rights to from Veracruz for four hundred thousand dollars and we will see how his debut goes here today at the left back position so 27th minute, no score. Mario with the throw. Mario holding it and is going to get it into Carvalho. Back to Jefferson Mario. Mario looking to cross it. Working the sideline. Gets it into the box. And it is headed down. And the volley is missed by Chad Barrett. Good opportunity for Real Salt Lake. 33rd minute now. Mario has it on the left side. He's going to send it in towards Barrett again. Barrett back to Ruznak. Ruznak over to the left side to Jao Plata. Plata back to the middle to Torres. Torres has really struggled after coming back from injury, but Plata is able to take his time but cannot get it past the Colorado goalkeeper, Tim Howard. 47th minute now. We are in the second half still. Nil-nil. Here is Barrett. Barrett holding off a defender. Gets it to Carvalho. Carvalho. Shoots it through to Ruznak. Ruznak shot just wide to the left. Albert Ruznak misses. Still no score. And RSL has a free kick here in the 57th minute. Ruznak will take it. And he is going to send it over the top. And I do not know if Tim Howard got a hand on it. Let's take a look-see. I believe he did not, and it just barely went over the crossbar. 58th minute, still no score here in Denver. Here is Sonny to the middle to Car uh, Carvalho. Over to the left wing to Mario. Jefferson Mario having himself a pretty good game here in his debut. Gets it into the box. Shot score, but I believe he was offside. And he is. You all saw that. He was well offside. So take that one off the board. Let's see how close it actually was, and it was not that close. 75th minute now. Still no score here in Colorado. Are we looking at another scoreless draw? As we had against Montreal a few matches back. Here is Sonny on the right wing. Sonny to the middle. Tries to get it to Torres. Torres can't beat the defender to it. Back to Tim Howard, and Howard will clear it. Headed back towards the Colorado net. Here's Barrett. Barrett will play it all the way back to Schuler, And Schuler will play it back to Mond. Over to Murillo on the left wing. 
Mario holding. Gets it to the middle to Eric Torres. Torres to Ruznak. Ruznak looking back to Torres. He gets past him and it's Barrett. Fantastic ball. Gets to the feet of Chad Barrett and he scores. RSL leads one to nothing. 86th minute. 87th minute now. And Colorado with a shot from the box. Goes over the top of the crossbar. It's Ramirez who misses. And we are in stoppage time here. RSL with the lead against the number one team in the West right now. Would be a huge victory for RSL on the road against the top team. And here is Plata. He's going to have a chance to ice it. And it just goes high. That could have iced the game, but... Colorado did not get another chance off. Colorado, four shots on the day, and none of them were on target. Zero shots on target. We had 11 shots, five on target. 62% possession for us, and we get the win. And the player of the match was Jefferson Murillo with a 7.4 rating in his debut. So the debut for Jefferson Murillo goes very well, and we turned the calendar over to August we will start off with a U.S. Open Cup quarterfinal against FC Dallas. So you look at the U.S. Open Cup bracket here. Sporting Kansas City will play Portland, New England, and San Jose. And uh, New York City FC will play Philadelphia Union here in that quarterfinal round. We are on the road in Dallas for this one. And we look at our starting 11. It'll be Torres and Barrett at the top. Diamond in the middle. Ruznak, Plata, Acosta. And Mulholland, a back line of Mario, Schuler, Mond, and Sonny over on the right side. So we are in Dallas for the quarterfinal. Our goal was to make it to the quarterfinal round, which we have done with a win over Orlando City several episodes ago. So here is the quarterfinal. The uh, winner, or yeah, the winner will move on to the semifinal round. And we have no score. In the very first minute of the game, here is Jefferson Murillo. Murillo is going to try to play it in to Ruznak. Ruznak holding. Ruznak takes it over to the wing, shielding it from a defender, and it's taken away. Here comes FC Dallas the other way. FC Dallas with numbers. On the right wing, it is Barrios. Barrios over the top to Lama. Lama has got a man in the middle. Shot, save, rebound, scored. And it is Michael Barrios in the second minute putting FC Dallas up 1-0. Here is the throw to Jefferson Murillo from goalkeeper Patrick Carlgren. It's Plata on the wing. Plata's going to play it ahead to Torres. Torres back to the middle to Acosta. Acosta to Plata. Plata in the box. Shot scored! And Jao Plata in the 19th minute evens this match up at one apiece. Here is Acosta. We're in minute 35, nearing minute 36. Plata on the left side from Murillo to the middle. And that one looks like it was deflected in off of a defender. RSL goes up 2-1, to one, but look at the... Misplay by the FC Dallas center back. And that is an own goal. It's 2-1 to one RSL. And this one gets through. And Dallas ties it up again. The pass gets through the defense. And this one is Uloa. And we have not even reached halftime yet. And we are all tied up at 2. A lot of scoring going on in this one which is something we have not seen in our last, what, four or five matches. Victor Uloa, and we're all tied up at two. Stoppage time of the first half. Here comes the corner, and it is headed down and in by Chris Schuler. It actually hit the post and came down and hit the back of an FC Dallas player, so it's another own goal. This time it's Maynard Figueroa. 
Unbelievable game so far. 3-2 to two at halftime. RSL with the lead. So we go to the second half, 60th minute. 61st minute now. Ruznak with a free kick to take. And Ruznak sends it into the box, and it hits the wall. But RSL is able to secure possession. Here's Murillo. Murillo to the right side to Ruznak. Ruznak back to Murillo. Shot just wide. And that might be that... Uh, Lack of technical ability showing up right there as he had a wide open opportunity that he missed. So here comes FC Dallas. It's Lama on the left side looking for somebody to cross it to. And the shot is scored by FC Dallas. And that ties the match up at three. Doesn't get much prettier than that one either. Christian Coleman. Christian Coleman comes in, sliding, and puts it home. We're all tied up at three. 89th minute now. Both teams trying to avo uh, avoid extra time here in this U.S. Open Cup quarterfinal. There will be no draw to end this game. And the free kick was on the money by Ruznak. Pretty good placement here, but a very... Very close play over the top of the net. And this one headed down and cleared away by RSL. That was dangerous. FC Dallas almost finished off the game right there. We are in extra time, though. All tied up at three in the 110th minute. FC Dallas has it. It's Figueroa. Figueroa is going to have to play it back to their goalkeeper. Reed and RSL has it now here's Barrett shot scored Chad Barrett puts RSL up 4-3 to three in extra time first goal of the US Open Cup tournament comes in the 111th minute and RSL is able to hold on and get the 4-3 victory so we will move on to the semifinals of the US Open Cup and it would sure be fun to get to that final. We gave up 31 shots on the day. 21 of them were on target. Fantastic day by Patrick Corrigan in net. Despite giving up three goals, he had a number of saves that kept us in this game. So the U.S. Open Cup brackets, we will play Sporting Kansas City. They beat Portland 2-1. Over on the other side, it'll be Philadelphia and San Jose in the semifinal. And the two winners will meet in the U.S. Open Cup final. But back to the regular MLS Cup season. This is match number 21. We take on the Montreal Impact. And we end up with a scoreless draw against Montreal. So we come away with a point. Unfortunate to not get three points from that home match against the Montreal Impact. So we will end this episode here with... Uh, Seventh place in the Western Conference standing, 22 points. San Jose Earthquakes at 32 points hold down the final playoff spot in the West. Over in the East, Orlando City has the lead in that conference. Toronto FC, Chicago, New England, and Philadelphia would be in the playoffs. DC United, Montreal, Impact at 26 are pretty close. So next up, the next episode, we will have... A, the U.S. Open Cup semifinal against Kansas City and then a road match at D.C. United and then back home against Sporting Kansas City. Those will be our next three matches in episode number 31. But this is episode number 30 coming to a close here on Mama's Basement Sports Gaming. <laughs>